good morning students welcome back to biology class so in this class we are going to discuss about uh, viruses so you know very well about this virus this is an apt situation uh, to know about virus because everywhere in the world the common name that is virus 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 because of covid 19 okay then what are viruses viruses are crystallizable non cellular infectious agent crystallizable non cellular infectious agent which are composed of bio molecules or biological molecules that can multiply inside the host okay that is called what uh, virus so viruses are crystallizable non cellular infectious infectious agents composed of biological molecules composed of biological molecules that multiply inside the host that able to multiply inside the host this is what uh, the definition of viruses okay then uh, you must know a brief history of virus virus means we know nothing but uh, poisonous fluid the name the virus or nothing but uh, venom or poisonous fluid uh, that was given by louis pasteur louis pasteur they coined the term virus nothing but venom nothing but poisonous fluid is it clear then dj ivanovsky demonstrated that or showed that some microbial organism or causal organism in the plants they cause a disease in number of plants that is called what he called it as a mosaic disease mosaic disease caused by some microbes that are infectious in the tobacco plant in tobacco plant that what you call as tobacco mosaic virus or mosaic disease that are smaller than bacteria why because it can pass through bacterial proof filter so that uh, viruses are uh, smaller than bacteria is it clear so the ivanovsky demonstrated that showed that some microbial organism that causes uh, mosaic disease in plants that is in the year uh, 1892 is clear later m w bejernik bejernik in the year 1898 he showed that he demonstrated that the extract of infected plant that what he called the fluid that can able to cause infection to the healthy plant he called them as infectious living fluid that is uh, he gave statement that is contagium contagium vivum fluidum 
contagium vivum fluidum means uh, infectious living agent why because that infected plants you extract that uh, fluid from infected plant tobacco plant that can cause disease or infection to healthy plant hence he called that fluid as a uh, infectious uh, living fluid nothing but uh, contagium vivum fluidum is it clear next another scientist uh, that is uh, wm stanley w m stanley showed that viruses are crystallizable that can be stored in a bottle like other chemicals and they are inert they are inert that means uh, inactive when outside the host but the virus when you enter into the host they are living they multiply they cause a disease hence they are called obligate parasite obligate parasite means uh, without host virus cannot survive virus cannot multiply because they are inert outside the host so in the year 1935 he first crystallized the virus and that too he explain the virus uh, the major portion of virus that is made up of protein chemically it is a protein and also it contains uh, a nucleic acid like uh, rna or dna either rna or dna never both virus contain either rna as a genetic material or dna as a genetic material never both it is in a, the brief history of virus okay then come to the chemical nature of virus chemically virus is what it is made up of the two important chemical substance one is nucleic acid and the one is protein hence viruses are chemically nucleoprotein nucleoprotein the major portion of virus is made up of protein and they have genetic material either dna or rna so in a virus genetic material is in the center core that is surrounded by a protein coat that protein coat is called capsid the protein coat which uh, uh, surround the uh, nucleic acid nucleic acid in the center central core that is surrounded by protein that protein coat is called capsid which consists of number of subunits number of subunits called capsomers is it clear so virus chemically nuclear protein which contain a, a nucleic acid and a protein protein is a, a covering the a nucleic acid so that is a coat that is called protein coat the protein coat is called capsid which consists of number of units subunits they are called capsomers the nucleic acid is either rna or dna never both is it clear in majority the virus which infect plants what do you call the uh, plant virus phytophage phyto plant phage means eater the plant virus plant virus which contain single stranded rna single stranded rna in majority of case the plant virus that means the virus which infect plant are called plant virus that's called phytophage which contain a single stranded rna animal virus animal virus means uh, the virus which infect animals zoophage zoo means here animals 
page means eater that is called what uh, uh, animal virus which contain either a single stranded ss that a single stranded rna or double stranded i will write it as ds double stranded rna or dna that means animal virus which contain either rna or dna the two rna is single stranded or maybe double stranded and also dna is it clear so in this uh, virus DNA is genetic material or RNA is genetic material that is infectious. Virus is made up of uh, uh, protein and uh, genetic material that is DNA or RNA. Genetic material acts as a uh, what, uh, uh, infectious agent that is infectious. Protein not infectious. When virus is uh, uh, enter into the host body. DNA or RNA that means uh, the genetic material infect the host cell and control the, the machinery of the host cell and kill the host cell. Okay, That is what uh, uh, chemical nature of virus. So I told that viruses are non-cellular, crystallizable but infectious agent when inside the host they are active. When outside the host, they are inactive. That means uh, viruses are either living or non-living. The question arises, viruses are living or non-living? For this question, viruses are the connecting link between uh, non-living and living because they show two properties, two characteristics. One is the living character, another one is non-living character. That is the no living properties or non-living properties. Yellow property, two properties are there for virus. Okay, so shall uh, we discuss about uh, what are the non-living characters of virus? What are the living characters of virus? Okay, yes. First one is non-living characters. That means the uh, viruses are non-living. Why we say viruses are non-living? Because of these characters. Non-living characters. That is, viruses do not have a complete cellular structure and cytoplasm and cell membrane or plasma membrane on and all or any other cell organelles. So they are called non-living. That means that viruses do not have the no complete cellular structure, no complete cellular structure, no plasma membrane, no plasma membrane, they do not have any cell organelles, that means no cell organelles, like uh, mitochondria or garlic complex or ribosome or endoplasmic reticulum, no cell organelles. So that is why the viruses are a non-living. Is it clear? Then one more important character, the viruses are, when outside the host, they are inactive, they are inert, like a chemical, they are crystallizable. That can be stored in uh, water like any other chemicals. So they are non-living. They do not show any metabolic activity, no metabolism. When outside the host, you know metabolism, some total of all biochemical reaction that takes place in a cell and a living organism, such metabolic activity is not found in uh, viruses when, when they present outside the host. Is it clear? And they do not show any metabolic activity. That means they do not uh, respire. 
they do not respire they do not show any metabolic activity they are inert like a chemical they do not multiply they do not multiply when outside the host so they are crystallizable they are inactive they do not have cellular structure they do not having a cell organelles or plasma membrane so they are called non living at the same time the virus also shows living properties living characteristics that is so what are the living characters of the virus viruses have definite shape like other organism for example uh, uh, bacteria they are having definite shape so based on the shape the viruses are classified into four types that is coccus bacillus vibrium then spirula similarly viruses have definite shape like other organism so they are called living hence they are living at the same time the viruses when uh, enter into the host they cause a disease that means uh, they are pathogen they are pathogen that cause a disease like other organism like other pathogen for example uh, a bacteria is a pathogen that cause a disease both in plants and animals similarly virus also cause a disease in different plants and animals like fungus like protozoans they cause a disease so they are pathogen pathogen means they are living so they are living because they are pathogen and cause a disease that cause a disease so they are called living at the same time they show multiplication when inside the host they multiply inside the host no doubt they are outside the host they are inactive no doubt they are like a chemical when outside the host so that is why it is an obligate parasite so here the pathogen means they are parasites parasite means these are the organism depends on other organism for food and nourishment similarly virus also depends on other organism that is that represent what that is living obligate parasite compulsory they need the parasite that they, they need a host for multiplication they multiply inside the host inside the host so you know that the any organism they multiply that indicates growth or multiplication nothing but reproduction so growth and reproduction is a character of living organism so virus multiply inside the host so they are living and they have genetic material they have nucleic acid nucleic acid that is very important you know that uh, either rna or dna never both so in all the organism nucleic acid are present that is dna and rna virus also have dna or rna so they are living and they show the property of mutation property of mutation when inside the host so viruses are living they show metabolic activity they multiply inside the host they show mutation they have definite shape when it entered the host it cause a disease like a pathogen hence viruses are living so when now we come to conclusion whether viruses are living or non living it is a connecting link between a living and non living organism is it clear what is about what uh, viruses
so viruses are classified based on uh, the type of nucleic acid so you know that virus having nucleic acid either dna or uh, rna suppose the virus has rna genetic material that is called rna virus rna virus ribovirus ribovira or they have dna a genetic material that is called dna virus deoxyribovirus deoxyribovira this is a, a type of classification uh, based on uh, the what type of genetic material they have another type of classification based on the host they infect for example that is a type of bacteria the say type of uh, uh, virus which infect a plant that is called plant virus that is called phytophage phytophage plant virus the virus which infect plant then zoophage zoo means here animal page means eater the virus which infect animals are called zoophage that is animal virus then cyanophage cyanophage that means uh, the virus which infect cyanobacteria blue green algae okay then bacteriophage bacteriophage the virus which infect bacteria are called bacteriophage mycophage the virus which infect fungus as mycota mycophage uh, this is a type of classification uh, based on the host they infect is it clear yes or uh, is about what uh, uh, definition of virus chemical nature of virus and properties of virus okay so in next class uh, we are going to discuss about uh, tobacco mosaic virus and bacterial page t4 page and also uh, they cause some disease is it clear okay bye